I'm a Fin Dom Master and I'm going to show you guys how I got started and how much money I make. All right, let's get into it. All right, now, as you can see here, this is my OnlyFans profile. And here you can see I'm in the top 1.5%. And in the month of January, I made over $6,000 here. When I started out, this was more of just like a, you know, I would spend like half an hour a day on it. Not really working that hard. But over time, I figured out how to maximize the profits. And this is where I'm at right now. That because you're on this video, you know what FinDom is. But if you don't, it stands for financial domination. And basically what that means is someone pays you to dominate them. And this can be done in a bunch of different ways. You know, I personally, I don't meet any of my subs in person, but you can, you can go meet your subs and they'll want things like you to step on them or spit on them, give them wedgies. I don't know. You know, I've been asked a lot of crazy things and you're going to see a lot more crazy things once you get started. All right. Me personally, I just like I'll, I'll text them or I'll send them videos, you know, calling them slurs, you know, degrading them. That's what I do, you know, and that's and I'm sure you can make a lot more money if you actually met up with them in person. But I don't feel comfortable with that. And maybe that's your thing. I don't know, sir. Well, there are a bunch of different ways to get paid as a Fendom master. For example, I'm an OnlyFans creator. So all my subs, they have to subscribe to my OnlyFans before they can message me and we can talk. So first of all, they got to pay that subscription fee. And then you can also get paid in tips and, and pay-per-view messages, right? So the tips are basically, you know, um, these guys, these subs or guys or girls, they'll send you money and just for no reason. That That's pretty simple. The pay-per-view messages are like, for example, on OnlyFans, you're going to have your content, right? Whatever it is. And then you're going to save your best content, the most revealing. For example, if you... If you don't show anything nude on OnlyFans, maybe you want to show something nude for the pay-per-view. Or if you do show nude, maybe you want to show like a sex scene on pay-per-view. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, you want to show your best content, you got to charge extra for that. Okay, so so I make a lot of sit in doing FinDom and you want to start it on OnlyFans. What I would do is I would create a Reddit account and a Twitter account. Okay, and by the way, don't use your real name on anything okay don't ever do that all right so now what you want to do is you want to post some of your content on reddit you know to, to like to draw in some subscribers okay and now even if they don't subscribe to you they might follow you on reddit or if you link your twitter on reddit then they'll follow you on twitter and on twitter you can post the same content all the same like all your your content on there that you want to use to promote and on Twitter, you're gonna be able to build like a, a following on there, okay? And once you have a following, naturally people are gonna start subscribing to you, okay? You can use Instagram also. I don't recommend it as much because you can't post anything revealing on Instagram or you can't even link your OnlyFans on Instagram. So you can do that like if you have the time for that. I will stick to Reddit and Twitter. And another option is Kick. You know, um, I found I got a lot of subscribers on Kick because you know there's a lot of groups on Kick. You can just look up FinDom or OnlyFans groups. There's hundreds of them, if not thousands of them on there. So you can join them and promote yourself on there. It takes a lot of time. I don't like it that much to be honest with you, but it works. Um another one is oh, dating apps. Now this one you gotta be very careful with, okay? Because I started out going on dating apps and promoting myself as OnlyFans creator at FinDom and I got banned immediately so what you want to do on, on on dating apps is you want to is you want to be very subtle with it okay I wouldn't I wouldn't even mention it in your bio I will start chatting up with some people on on dating apps and then you know just slip it in the conversation you know that's how I would do that and that actually might be the best way of going about it honestly because they already have talked to you and you're in the same area I presume so that could be a good one. What kind of personality you need to be a FinDom master, okay? So first of all, you need to understand that these folks are paying you for the fantasy of giving up all their power and control to you, okay? So no, you cannot be a nice guy. Um, you cannot be kind to them. You need to bully them pretty much, okay? So you need to degrade them, call them names. You need to tell them they're worthless, you know, um, maybe it, it gets sexual, although with a lot of these, 
they don't want anything sexual you know they just want to be told how worthless they are you know and call them names like i said um yeah. talk about appearance okay because i do believe that anyone can make money as a fin dot master regardless of how you look because it, it really is about the personality at the end of the day but if you're a man then i recommend you to, to be you know look like a man in the face you know you can't have like a, a weak chin you know what i'm saying or just like a fat face you know that's not gonna work you want to have like a strong looking face and you want to have a strong looking body okay so i recommend bodybuilding i recommend eating right having a six pack these kind of things you know facial hair you know these are things that i recommend you know um but like i said i think anyone can do it if you have the right personality for it and if you're a, a woman then um i don't know there's plenty of other channels on youtube that help you that help women within dom so go check those out safety okay so first of all you're not going to use your real name on anything so before you start anything make up a, a fin dom master name for example we can start with master or cash master or fag master or a lot of these kind of names you know um yeah you could just think of a name do not use your real name do not give anyone your real name or your address or your email address or anything okay i recommend using snapchat to communicate with a lot of these subs because it's, it's pretty simple to use and you can make a snapchat that has a different name than your own name and um one more thing if you're posting naked pictures online or pictures of you in general for your fin dom right i recommend not showing your face on any of those pictures unless they're actually inside of your only fans because that way the only people who can see your face and know who you are are people who have paid money and it's going to be a lot smaller of the population okay you don't want to you don't want like everyone seeing your naked pictures online i mean that's just a well, you never know <laughs> You never know what's going to happen, all right? So with that being said, y'all take care, and I hope y'all make a ton of money with this OnlyFans thing. And I'll see y'all next video.